my basic model of the next decade is that marginal cost of intelligence is going to trend rapidly towards zero. Seismic shifts happen when the whole cost structure of society changes, which has happened many times before. The temptation is always to underestimate these changes. Artificial intelligence is one of these changes. And I see AI as the main technological breakthrough today and in the upcoming decades. The recent release of ChatGPT, a free AI chatbot from OpenAI, has gained popularity for its ability to engage in natural sounding conversations and produce original content. GPT uses generative adversarial networks to generate responses to input text. GAN is an AI technology that uses a generator and a discriminator to create outputs that look like real data and feels natural. In the case of ChatGPT, the GAN is trained on a massive amount of data, allowing it to engage in realistic conversations with humans. But here's the twist. ChatGPT's responses are fictional creations of GAN allowing ChatGPT to engage in imaginary conversations and provide creative, out-of-the-box responses. This makes ChatGPT a useful tool for generating creative ideas and exploring possibilities beyond the constraints of everyday reality. Of course, it has its limitations. It may not be able to respond to more existential queries, and some of the data it offers might not be completely accurate. As technology continues to advance, we are seeing the emergence of large language models that are capable of providing natural language dialogue interfaces. This is an exciting development, as it will enable the creation of new services that use language as their primary interface, and it's important to think about how they might affect society. One of the most promising applications of this technology is in the medical and education fields. By providing a natural language interface, these services can be made more accessible to a wider range of people. Education in simulated environments and AI tutors are going to be really big and popular. However, it is important to remember that large language models and other AI technologies are not capable of creating new knowledge or solving complex problems like curing cancer, at least for now. Instead, they will be useful for performing tasks that have already been done but at a lower cost. This might include tasks like writing blog posts, designing images and editing videos but it is unlikely to lead to a, any major breakthroughs in science. Large language models will challenge Google search product. A Google search was already threatened by popularity of TikTok, where apparently Gen Z using it to search variety of things. Because it's much more visual and fun than Google search, and now Google is threatened by ChatGPT and its potential for natural language processing, direct and quick access to the information you are looking for. Imagine what happens if ChatGPT combines its answers with visual elements. So main question remains, can large language models be the first step towards artificial general intelligence? And what is artificial general intelligence? AGI is basically the equivalent of a median intelligent human that you could hire as a co-worker. If you would hire AGI as a remote co-worker, you would be very happy with its work. And this includes learning how to be a doctor, learning how to be a very competent coder, for example. There are a lot of stuff that a median human is capable of getting good at. And I think one of the skills of an AGI is not any particular milestone, but the meta skill of learning to figure things out and that it can go decide to get good at whatever you need. Then, after AGI, artificial superintelligence will follow, which is when AI is smarter than all of the humanity together combined.
there are also opposite ideas about potential of chat GPT and if can scale to AGI. Elon Musk mentioned that he is skeptical about potential of current large language models. Elon Musk is relying more on Tesla bot, which may be a possible solution to AGI. It's designed as a real-life companion robot that will help humans in a variety of tasks, and the accumulation of this real-life data may potentially lead Tesla bot to reach artificial general intelligence level. This means it would have the ability to understand and learn any intellectual task that a human being can. We still need at least a decade's worth of research in order to reach AGI, but it's important to think about how this may affect society and the role of humankind in the upcoming decade. Are we going to be curators rather than creators? Humans are excellent at identifying opportunities, judging outcomes, deciding what to work on next, and editing creative output. We are great at spotting patterns in a limited amount of data, but we are extremely bad at seeing patterns if the data is large, meaning we can't look at 1 million images or thousands of scientific research papers and see their connections or patterns. We need a companion or a research assistant to look at existing research on a particular topic all around the world and tell us how we can solve big problems for humanity by connecting these existing research. One of the most exciting potential uses of AI in science is its ability to self-improve. This could enable it to help solve difficult alignment problems in AI development, where the challenge is to ensure that advanced AI systems act in accordance with human values and interests. The alignment problem is a major concern in the development of AI because advanced systems could potentially pose a threat to humanity if they are not aligned with human goals. Self-improvement could be both beneficial and potentially dangerous depending on how it is implemented. There are several potential solutions to alignment problem, including designing AI systems with built-in ethical constraints and using self-improving AI to help solve the alignment problem itself. Some specific examples of the alignment problem include AI systems that exhibit racist behavior or that have goals that conflict with human goals. By addressing these issues, we can ensure that AI technologies continue to drive progress in science and technology without posing a threat to humanity. And we need to look at the next 40 years and define some of the main societal issues that will arise as AI continues to grow and what can we do today to mitigate those issues. In recent years, AI tools became increasingly popular among artists, writers, and other creatives, and they allow them to generate new ideas and explore new possibilities. In some cases, AI is even replacing creative work, such as when algorithms are used to write articles or generate music. However, for the most part, AI is being used to enhance creative work rather than replace it. When AI was first developed, many people thought that it would first replace blue-collar jobs, then white-collar jobs, and finally the creative work. However, reality has been the opposite, with AI starting to impact creative jobs first. This is proof of how difficult it is to predict the future accurately. The real game-changer is going to be how AI reshapes our goals and objectives. The way AI systems are currently built requires us to specify a fixed objective. And while that might seem like a good idea at first, it can lead to some seriously undesirable behavior. Imagine giving an AI system the objective of making you a cup of coffee. Sounds simple enough, right? But what if the AI system decides that most efficient way to get you that coffee is to kill everyone in Starbucks and take over the company. 
not exactly the outcome you were looking for. Stuart Russell, a well-known computer science professor and AI expert, has a solution. He suggests building AI systems that are aware of their own uncertainty and biases about what the objective is. This way, AI system can ask for clarification or permission before taking certain actions, preventing it from going off the rails. Of course, this means that we humans may need to redefine our own goals and objectives in order to coexist with AI. To get there, we must first recognize our own biases and prioritize our major issues on a human scale. We are unfortunately still operating with an ape mindset and we are highly territorial. We are far from focusing on our collective problems on a global scale and that's not the only challenge we'll face. The potential impact of AI on employment and the economy is a hot topic, with many people worried about the effects of automation on their livelihoods. Russell believes that we can adapt to the changes brought by AI just as we have adapted to other technological innovations in the past. And who knows, maybe the increased efficiency and productivity brought by AI will even lead to a brighter economic future for all of us. So let's embrace the uncertainty and ride the wave of change that AI is bringing. Who knows what exciting possibilities it will unlock for us. Thanks for watching.